1825, company came calling as the Marquis de Lafayette's tour of the United States brought him to Kentucky. The Marquis de Lafayette was a French nobleman. He came into his title and his estate when he was very young. He was still a child. Um, and then when he was about 19, he heard about the American Revolution. So he sailed on over to America. He actually didn't even tell his wife that he was leaving. He wrote to her from the ship and said, I'll see you when I see you. And he was very influential in funding the war as well as getting um, even more help from the French. He was very good friends with George Washington. He was friends with all of the founding fathers and he actually did fight in the revolution. And then when the war was over, he sailed back to France where the French Revolution happened not too long after. After President Monroe was elected, it was coming up on America's 50th anniversary and he invited the Marquis de Lafayette to come do a farewell tour of America. And he traveled around to all, at the time, 24 states, um, including Kentucky. And that was very important to Kentuckians because we were a state in 1792. We didn't actually fight in the revolution. So it was something that was very validating for Kentucky as a state. One item that we have is a photocopy of an original invitation to the ball held in Lafayette's honor here in Frankfurt. Lafayette arrived in Louisville first. His boat actually sank on the river, but everyone was fine, everybody was saved, and he was delayed by several days, so the invitation has actually the wrong date on it. So the gown was um, not from the Frankfurt Ball, it was from the Shelbyville Ball, which took place the day before, but it's very beautiful. It was from a young woman named Sarah Lane, so it's made of silk, it's very beautiful, and it actually would have taken quite a lot of skill to create because it has these vertical stripes on it and those are printed onto the fabric. We have a chalice from the ball. It's silver, it's very ornate. It has filigree done on it and it also has the initials of the woman who used it. Her name was Lucy Weisiger and then the ball took place in Weisiger's tavern. So he and his wife hosted the formal dancing portion of the ball. And this chalice is actually what Lucy Weisiger uh, used to toast Lafayette during the ball. Lafayette, as I've already said, he really validated and solidified Kentucky's place in the nation. But I think that he has become sort of like a larger than life figure, almost like George Washington and Thomas Jefferson, where he is not just the Marquis Lafayette, but he represents those ideas of freedom and liberty and um, brotherhood and strengthening the bonds between um, America and other countries. To learn more, visit us online at history.ky.gov. From the Kentucky History Center and Museums in downtown Frankfurt, I'm Doug High.